In this short episode, we are going to take a look on how to create a Panda 3D window using the show base class. I already created this 01 underscore window that Python file. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is to actually import the show base class. And you can do that by from direct dot show base, I mean direct dot show base dot show base import show base. So from direct that show base with um, smaller case letters that show base with uppercase letters import the show base class and you can just create an instance of the show base and call the run method on it so with these two lines you can create a panda 3d window so just right click and run window that by and it will create a Panda 3D window. Although this is the short way, but uh, I don't recommend do it this way. The correct way of doing this is actually create a custom class. So class, let's say my game. And this class, custom class will inherit from the show base class. We are going to create an init method. So constructor and also overwrite the uh, base classes so the show base classes init method so just type super that init okay and now let's create an instance of this my game so let's call it game and equals to my game and call the game game instance that run okay so this is the proper way what we are going to do from now so subclassing the show base calling the init method and also overwriting or calling the uh, super um, classes init method then create uh, uh, an instance of this my game and call the run method and the run method is responsible for actually entering the main loop main application or the main game loop and the main game loop will keep the window alive it will also it is also responsible for redrawing the window and also for getting the events from the keyboard and the mouse so as i said this will be this is just a short video uh, in the next video we are also going to take a, a short look on the built-ins so when you actually create an instance of this my game which is actually a show base some of the some of global some of the global variables uh, are set up uh, automatically and we are going to take a look on those global variables in the next video